Music can't exist without rhythm. You've probably never thought about this, but without rhythm, you just have a bunch of notes. Now, if you play those same notes in a rhythm, so rhythm really does affect music. In fact, I remember one of my early piano teachers used to ask me, what is music? And I would just stare at him until he'd answer. He'd say, always remember, music is the organization of sounds and silences. And rhythm is the result of how those two go together. Meaning that the silence is just as important as the sounds. To understand how long or short the notes should be, we look at the printed music and notice what the notes themselves look like. Some notes in music are longer, some notes shorter. So let's start by learning the four most common notes that you'll see in printed music. The appearance of these notes will tell you how long or how short will hold them. And the most common note in music is called the quarter note. You can tell that it's a quarter note because the note is filled in and a line called a stem is attached. As you learn other note values, you'll see the notes and stems change their appearance to designate different rhythms. It's sort of a code. It'll seem a little unusual at first, but once you recognize the various note values, playing the rhythms of the notes will come naturally. So let's get back to our quarter note. Now a quarter note represents one beat. So when you see several quarter notes in a row, it would sound like this. I'm gonna play a short example of a musical phrase that uses only quarter notes. And try to notice how each note lands right on the beat. A quarter note is very easy to play because each note lands right on every beat. So let's practice the feeling of playing the quarter note with each finger, starting with C, D, E, F, and G, and just follow along with the prompts and play along on each beat. One, two, ready, go. The next note value we're going to learn is called the half note. You'll notice that the half note looks like the quarter note in one respect. They both have stems, but it differs from the quarter note in that it's hollow. The note is not filled in. The half note lasts for two beats. Now remember when we clap the quarter notes, we clapped on each beat. When you clap a half note, you clap on the first beat and then you hold the second beat. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So a series of half notes would sound like this. Let's play together a short musical example using only half notes. We're gonna play a half note on each key starting with C, D, E, F, and G. So you can feel the rhythm of the two beat half note. Just follow the screen and play along, remembering to hold each note for two beats. One, two, ready, go. The next note value commonly used in music is called the whole note. The whole note has a unique appearance. It doesn't have a stem and the note is hollow. So if a quarter note gets one beat, 
a half note gets two beats and a whole note gets four beats. You only clap one time for a whole note and then hold the hands together with movement for the remaining three beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's play the same five note sequence, this time as whole notes. One, two, ready, go. Now hopefully the relationship between the various note values makes some sense to you by now with the words quarter, half, and whole. And with that in mind now, let's try a note that's a little trickier. The eighth note. Now notice the little line coming off the stem. It's a flag. And notice that the note head is filled in again. So if you know that a quarter note gets one beat, then it kind of makes sense that the eighth note is only half a beat. It takes two eighth notes to last as long as a quarter note. Now I know this gets a little bit challenging because it's the first note that we've looked at that's worth less than a beat. And also it's the first note that we play in between the beats. This is because an eighth note is worth only half a beat. You count eighth notes by saying one and. Here's an example. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So a series of eighth notes played using the same five note sequence would sound like this. Now like you just heard in that example, since eighth notes are worth only half a beat, they're often paired together in music to make a full beat. In music notation, these paired eighth notes will be joined together by a note beam. This is to help you recognize that together they equal one full beat. Okay, great. We've just learned how to count four different types of note values. So why don't we do an exercise and clap the rhythms of some of these patterns of notes. After the rhythm pattern appears on the screen, I'm going to tap out the rhythm on middle C. See if you can follow along. Okay, let's try tapping out the next rhythm pattern together. Now put your finger over middle C and the screen prompt will tell you when to start. Just knowing these note values will go a long way in learning to read music. And as you advance in your musical studies, you'll learn that there are actually many different kinds of note values. But for now, 
Try to master these four most common types of notes.